Today's video covers the ever versatile Swiss Army knife, and we have an appropriately utilitarian sponsor. If you're looking for a multifunctional platform to host your website, then you've got to link up with our friends over at Squarespace. Next week, whether you're relaxing at the beach, sipping an iced coffee, or just enjoying some quiet time in your local park, you might find yourself daydreaming about that next project that you want to start. Fortunately, Squarespace gives you every possible tool you might want to make your dream into a reality. Whether it's a small business, a sports blog, creative portfolio, or just a page of dank memes, it doesn't matter. If you can dream it, you can build it with Squarespace. Space. Are you looking to get in and out quick without thinking too much about what your website should look like? Bam! Use one of their quick and beautiful templates to make a website that's fresh and for you like it's right out of the box. Or maybe you're more of a hands-on person, you've got lots of opinions and ideas about exactly what your site should look like. Well, Squarespace gives you all of the customization options you could ever want with no updates, no patches, no technical BS to worry about. Now, once you're done setting up your website, tinkering with the design if you're so inclined, or maybe just playing with the colors, there are so many extra features that Squarespace provides that your website can thrive. Email campaigns, patronage portals, social integrations, member-only areas, analytics, commercial options, 24-7 customer support, everything you could ever want in one place. So when you're ready to get started on that next project of yours, big or small, if it involves a website, it's got to be with Squarespace. Right now, you can go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch a new site, go to squarespace.com forward slash brain food to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. And now on to today's video. It can be found in the toolbox of every craftsman and mechanic, and in the pocket of every hiker, camper, and adventurer. It has appeared in countless books, movies, and television shows, traveled across scorching deserts, frozen tundra, and steaming jungles, plunged to the bottom of the ocean, and even rocketed into outer space. It's the Swiss Army knife, a tool so iconic that its very name has become a byword for utility in any situation. But while these endlessly useful pocket knives have been wielded by nearly everyone, from NASA astronauts to TV's Angus MacGyver, have there ever been any issued by the real Swiss Army? While it is tempting to assume that the name is just a clever marketing ploy, the Swiss Army does in fact use Swiss Army knives, and the story of how these ubiquitous tools came to be is as fascinating as the endless uses to which they can be put. The story of the Swiss Army knife begins in 1889, when two technological developments led the Swiss Armed Forces to develop a specialized standard issue pocket knife for its soldiers. The first was the adoption of the 1889 Schmidt Rubin infantry rifle, which required a screwdriver to disassemble and clean, while the second was the increased use of tinned food for soldiers' rations. In 1891, the Swiss military standardized what became known as the Model 1890 Soldier's Knife. A far humbler design than its modern descendants, the Model 1890 featured only four tools, a 100mm spear point knife, a reamer, a flat blade screwdriver, and a can opener. It also lacked the iconic red plastic grips, its panels instead being made of dark oak. At the time, no Swiss manufacturer had the production capacity to meet the army's needs, so the Swiss government placed an initial order of 15,000 knives with the German firm Wester & Company, which was completed in October of 1891. However, Swiss surgical equipment manufacturer Karl Elsner was not pleased with this arrangement, and in 1891, his firm, based in the town of Ibach, began manufacturing the Model 1890 in the hopes of stealing the government contract back from the Germans. Unable to compete with Wester's more cost-effective manufacturing process, Elsner produced the knives at a loss, and despite introducing various civilian pocket knife models such as the student, the cadet, and the farmer, by 1896 his company was nearly bankrupt. It was then that Halsner made a breakthrough. While the Model 1890 was practical for the average soldier, it was also clunky and heavy, so in 1897 Halsner patented a more elegant version for officers, adding a small eraser blade for scraping ink off paperwork and a corkscrew to assist with officers' busy social lives. Further, perhaps the biggest breakthrough came when he figured out a way to put blades on both sides of the handle using a shared spring to hold both sides in place. This allowed him to put twice as many features into the multi-tool as was previously possible, in this case allowing six tools locked by only two communal springs, a system that would become standard in all subsequent Swiss Army knives. While never officially adopted by the army, the knife marketed as the Schweizer Officers und Sportsmesser, or Swiss Officers and Sports Knife, proved extremely popular among army officers as a private purchase item and almost single handedly saved Carl Elsner and company from financial ruin. In 1893, another firm, Beauchat and Company, later renamed Wegner SA, also began manufacturing the Model 1890 for the Swiss military. In 1908, the Swiss government withdrew its contract from Wester and Company and awarded it to Elsner and Wegner, the two companies splitting manufacturing duties 50-50. The following year, Elsner introduced its now iconic logo based on the Swiss coat of arms and its distinctive red grips, the color being chosen to make the knives easier to spot if dropped in the snow. Wegner 
Cigna soon followed suit with a similar rebranding, the two companies' products being easily distinguished by the fact that in the Elsner logo, the Swiss cross is surrounded by a shield, while in the Wagner logo, it is enclosed in a round cornered square. Also in 1909, Elsner renamed his company Victoria in honor of his recently deceased mother. In 1921, this would be further changed to Victoria Knox after Acier Inoxible, the French word for stainless steel. The company's knives, however, would not acquire their famous name until the end of World War II in 1945, when American soldiers posted in Europe began encountering Model 1890 and 1908 officers' knives in their post exchange or PX stores. Unable to pronounce the original German name, the soldiers simply called them Swiss Army knives. The name stuck, and ever since, both Victoria Knox and Wagner have marketed their products as original Swiss Army knives. Over the decades, both companies have produced hundreds of models of knives and multi tools for both military and civilian use, featuring an ever expanding roster of tools and features, including screwdrivers, wrenches, saws, fishhook removers, magnifying glasses, ballpoint pens, golf divot removers, tire tread gauges, butane lighters, clocks, altimeters, laser pointers, USB drives, and of course, knives. The largest practical Swiss Army knife currently offered is the Victorinox Swiss Champ, which features eight layers of tools performing 33 different functions. But even this is dwarfed by the Wegner 16999 Giant, a gargantuan promotional multi-tool measuring nearly a foot wide and featuring a whopping 87 tools and 181 functions, every single one of them the company offers. These are deep breath here, 2.5 inch 60% serrated locking blades, nail file, nail cleaner, corkscrew, adjustable pliers with wire crimper and cutter removable screwdriver bit adapter, 2.5 inch regular blade, locking needle nose pliers with cutter removable screwdriver bit holder, magnetized recess bit holder, double cut wood saw with ruler, chain rivet setter, removable 5 mm allen wrench, screwdriver for slotted and phillips head screws, removable tool for adjusting spokes, 10 mm hexagonal key for nuts, removable 4 mm curved allen wrench with phillips head screwdriver, locking screwdriver, universal wrench, 2.5 4 inch springless scissors, 1.65 inch clip point utility braid, Phillips head screwdriver, 2.5 inch clip point blade, club face cleaner, 2.4 inch round tip blade, patented locking screwdriver, cap lift can opener, shoe spike wrench, divot repair tool, 4 millimeter allen wrench, 2.5 inch blade, fine metal file with precision screwdriver, double cut wood saw with ruler, cupped cigar cutter with double honed edges, 1220 gauge choke tube tool, watch case back opening tool, snap shack or mineral crystal magnifier, compass, straight edge ruler in inches and centimeters, telescopic pointer, fish scaler, hook, disc gorger, line guide, shortix laboratory cream, micro tool holder, micro tool adapter, straight micro scraper, curved micro scraper, laser pointer, metal file, metal saw, flashlight, micro tool holder, 1.5 millimeter Phillips head screwdriver, 1.2 millimeter Phillips head screwdriver, 0.8 millimeter Phillips head screwdriver, fine fork for watch spring bars, reamer, 2.3 millimeter pin punch, 0.8 millimeter pin punch, round needle file, removable tool holder, self-centering screwdriver for gun sights, flat Phillips head screwdriver, chisel point reamer, small ruler, extension tool, locking flat needle nose pliers, removable screwdriver bit holder, magnetized recess bit holder, fiber optic tool holder, can opener, patented locking screwdriver, cap lifter, wire stripper, reamer, all toothpick, tweezers, key ring. Oh! And I thought there was some repetition in there. <laughs> Not all proposed tools have proven successful, however. At one point, Victoria Knox experimented with a knife incorporating a pencil sharpener, which was rejected as it produced an ugly bulge at the end of the blade. Also unsuccessful was a special knife for cutting cheese into precise, consistent slices, which incredibly failed to find a market even in Switzerland. On the more practical end of things, since the debut of the Model 1890, the Swiss military has officially adopted four standard-issue soldiers' knives. In 1908, the Model 1890 was replaced by a slightly modified version for featuring a clip point blade in place of the original spear point blade. This in turn was replaced by the model 1951, which for the first time featured stainless steel blades as well as a scraper on one edge of the screwdriver. The first all new standard issue knife was the model of 1961, which replaced the oak grip panels with more rugged knurled aluminium stamped with the Swiss coat of arms. In addition to the regular blade, this knife featured a reamer, combination bottle opener, flathead screwdriver and wire stripper, combination can opener and screwdriver, and a small brass spacer for holding open the mechanism of the SIG 5 10 combat rifle during disassembly and cleaning. The knife could also be suspended from a length of string to form a makeshift plumb bob, which, combined with a curved scale on the SIG's 510 bipod, could be used to gauge the angle of the weapon when launching rifle grenades. The most recent knife in the Swiss arsenal is the Model 2008, a radical departure from previous Swiss Army knives. The Model 2008 replaces the traditional elliptical wood, plastic, or metal grip with a more ergonomically shaped green polymer frame and features a serrated, one handed opening blade, a wood saw, a combination 
combination bottle opener, screwdriver, and wire bender, a combination can opener, and a flathead screwdriver, a reamer, and a Phillips screwdriver. Going back to the original question, since 1961, Victoria Knox and Wagner have been the sole official suppliers of pocket knives to the Swiss armed forces, and have also produced standard issue knives for the militaries of many other nations, including Germany, France, the Netherlands, Norway, Malaysia, and the United States. However, the vast majority of Swiss army knives are sold on the civilian market, with Victoria Knox alone producing some 34,000 knives per year, generating annual sales of nearly $500 million. The distinctive red knives have become a cultural icon of Switzerland, gaining an enthusiastic following among a wide range of users, from hikers, fishermen, and scouts, to golfers, auto mechanics, and even astronauts, with NASA officially adopting the Master Craftsman model in 1978 for use aboard the Space Shuttle. A Victoria Knox Swiss champ is even on display at the Museum of Modern Art in New York City as an example of classic industrial design. Swiss Army knives have appeared everywhere in pop culture, most famously as the tool of choice for problem-solving 80s television hero Angus MacGyver. Indeed, the term Swiss Army knife has become such a byword for practical utility that the title of 2016 Swiss Army Man, a film about Paul Dano using Daniel Radcliffe's rotting, farting corpse as a multi-tool to escape a desert island, though really, was instantly understandable to general audiences. But after nearly a century of success, in 2001, Victoria Knox and Wagner nearly faced disaster when the September 11th attacks caused their products to be pulled from airport duty-free shops and in-flight catalogs worldwide. This eliminated two enormous sales channels virtually overnight, causing Victoria Knox and Wagner to lose nearly one-third of their revenue. In response, the companies chose to diversify, releasing a line of Swiss Army branded water bottles, backpacks, and other products. Victoria Knox also focused on winning the Swiss Army's contract for a replacement for the model 1961 knife, which, despite a half-century of exclusivity, had been put up for public bidding. Despite fears that they would be underbid by a Chinese manufacturer, Victoria Knox eventually won the contract and became the sole supplier of the model 2008 soldier knife to the Swiss military. Wagner was not so lucky, and in 2005, the firm went bankrupt and was acquired by Victoria Knox. Victoria Knox continued to market knives under both the Victoria Knox and Wegner brands until 2013, when they decided to abandon the Wegner brand and sell all its knives under the Victoria Knox banner. Wegner's line of wristwatches and licensed products were, in turn, rebranded under the name Swiss Gear. Further trouble came in 2018, when the Swiss Federal Office for Defense Procurement, or Armour Suisse, challenged Victoria Knox's right to use the terms Swiss Army and Swiss Military in its marketing. After lengthy negotiations, Victoria Knox agreed to relinquish its claims the word Swiss military in exchange for retaining its iconic Swiss Army trademark. Despite these dramatic shifts in fortune, more than a century after its founding, Victoria Knox continues to manufacture a wide range of Swiss Army knives to the same exacting standards. Timeless classics of practical design and utility, it is likely the trusty red knives will continue to be found in backpacks, back pockets, and toolboxes around the globe for decades to come. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out our fantastic sponsor, Squarespace, linked to below. And thank you for watching.